Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with all the resources you need to become a successful author. You can learn more about Authors Unite and join the free community at authorsunite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Tim Dodd with us. He helps small and medium businesses get customers and grow their companies. So welcome to the show, Tim. Hey, Tyler. Thank you so much for having me, man. Excited to be here. Of course. Thanks for joining us. Uh, We'll dive in. The first question I have for you, Tim, is what's the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Uh, The best story from my life? with an underlying valuable message. Uh, let's see. So, um, definitely I remember being 19 years old. I'm 35 now and being 19 years old and, and wanting to, to pick up the guitar, but looking around and seeing like, man, everybody that's, that's awesome at music started at like six or seven. It's uh, way too late for me to get started. And, and, it was so funny to looking back, like you know, 16 years later, and thinking as a 19 year old, I thought I was I was too late to the game. And, and so I would say, you know, the biggest thing is um, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, and the the, the second best time is right now. So uh, no, no, just kind of no matter where you're at, just to to start where like right where you're at and, and start moving forward, and, and never count yourself out. And what's the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? So, okay, I'm, I'm in marketing. I've been in marketing for, for eight years. I've built three companies. They've all been profitable. The first two are owned by, I sold and are owned by other people. And I would say the number one thing for your business, uh, except for having a great product, is, is good marketing. And and there are so many like marketing trends and fads that they come and go just, just like diet dieting world, like the paleo diet and all, like all these different diets. But then there's, there's core, like there's core th- things that, that if you know, you can be successful with marketing. And, and I've broken down marketing into, to a acronym called PMA. And that just means uh, persuasion. So you have to understand how to persuade your, your customers to, to buy your product. Like you have to understand sales and copywriting on some level. But the second part is you have to know your math. So that's the M out of the PMA. And that's understanding like how much is it going to cost you to get a customer? How much profit are you going to make for that customer? Uh, and then once you understand your persuasion and your math, the third part is Avenue. Then you go, okay, are my, are my people on Facebook? Are they on LinkedIn outreach? Are they going to be on Instagram? So like really, instead of getting confused about your marketing, just just understanding the PMA, uh, you know, and, then, and ultimately where your customers are hanging out. Like you can be really, really successful with your marketing, and and it's so important to to simplify your marketing and just first go like, where are my customers hanging out, and, and how do I how do I you know bring them to my product? And what's your best piece of overall business advice, or so not necessarily industry specific? Yeah. Okay. Cool, man. So I would say for sure, a hundred percent. I've I've known so many startup businesses, and, and I actually just went through the Founder Institute uh, with my company, which was which is incredible. And I I see so many businesses and startups they get so emotionally attached to their idea, and they start building a solution that they like when they really need to build a solution based off of like customer data, like based off of what the needs of their customers are and don't get emotionally attached to your business or your idea because your idea might be crap and it needs honestly, and it might need a pivot or it might be good, but it's not, it's not on target and it needs to move. So if you're emotionally attached to that, you're going to have trouble moving it. If you're primarily focused on giving your customers what they want, you'll be okay with changing your idea or your business model to serve your customers better for sure. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Uh, same thing, man. The 19 year old, like start now. I mean, never ever count yourself out. Uh, and like, no matter how successful you see somebody is like, they're just a human. So some of my mentors have started multi-billion dollar companies and had exits and are now 
venture capitalist and and you meet with them like one one of the guys that I've uh, worked with he was uh, uh, Randy Wood he's the co-founder of Citrix and, and I've had um, you know several mentor sessions with him and sitting down with him he's you know he struggled building Citrix at the beginning they had so many issues and so many things that they had to overcome and and just to realize like when you see these billionaire giants that they they're not some godlike creatures like they went through the same process they went through the failures they went through the challenges and and just to start where you're at and, and to not give up for sure and in your opinion what's the key to happiness oh and so simple man two things is is thankfulness and progression as long as you're you're thankful for what you have and you you have a, a plan in place to be progressing like that's that's all you need man <laughs> And what's the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? Yeah, 100% Think and Grow Rich, uh, Napoleon Hill. I mean, you've probably, everybody's probably heard of that or read that. I mean, I've read it many times. It's, it's uh, I mean, one of, the, one of the biggest things is like right now there's a lot of motivational hype around like uh, thoughts become reality. And that's true. But like one thing I love about Think and Grow Rich is that it's about like thoughts producing actions that are producing your reality. So um, very, very powerful. Like if you're focused on, oh shit, like we're, uh, our business is like, we just lost some customers and you put your whole focus there. Like you're just going to, that's just going to keep happening because you're, because the way the mind's wired. So a hundred percent, just focusing your energy, no matter how hard things get on where you're going and, and what you're wanting to accomplish. Yeah, and for everybody listening, uh, I've also read that book. Absolutely incredible book. Um, and the next question I have for you, Tim, is what's your favorite quote and why? So um, I have two favorite quotes, but I, but I already told you the first one, and that's, uh, that was uh, from Best Time to Plant Trees 20 years ago. Second best time is now. Since I already said that, I'll tell you my second favorite one, which is the difference between a warrior and an ordinary man is that an ordinary man sees everything as a blessing or a curse, while a warrior sees everything as a challenge. And I think that's, as an entrepreneur, we have to see everything that comes at us as, as, a, as a problem that we can solve, for sure. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on, Tim. Uh, the last question I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? Yeah, so the, the best place that, that they can reach out and talk to me is LinkedIn. If they look, just look up Tim Dodd, uh, Tev Training, they'll find me. Or they, or they can check out my website as well. But if they want to connect with me and, and, and start a conversation, check me out on LinkedIn and just search Tim Dodd, uh, Tev Training. Perfect, man. Thanks again for coming on. We appreciate it. All right, brother. Have a good one. Bye. podcast you just heard was recorded with anchor if you want to make your own download the android or ios app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast that's anchor.fm slash podcast